Yeah, Sharon Pedro and Trump is reacting today, defending himself, and we're getting a sense of what his legal argument may be because the unsealed documents did include a letter from his lawyer that argues the president has absolute authority to declassify documents. A judge's order for this partial release of the affidavit follows a request from several news outlets that cited the enormous public interest. The heavily redacted affidavit revealing the FBI's concern that classified national defense documents remained at Mar-a-Lago, following a push from U.S. officials for months to get all these records back, with probable cause to believe evidence of obstruction would be found. The three dozen pages laying out the legal arguments for the FBI to execute a search warrant at former President Trump's Florida residence and private club. I think the biggest takeaway here is that we're looking at information stored at Mar-a-Lago that is very important and that could potentially threaten national security. The affidavit, with half the pages blacked out, reveals 14 of 15 boxes handed over willingly from Mar-a-Lago early this year contained classified documents taken by Trump from the White House after leaving office. The National Archives at that time flagging the Justice Department. I did nothing wrong. Trump sharing this audio from a podcast on social media in response, also calling the affidavit a total public relations subject refuge by the FBI and DOJ. This is a political attack on our country and it's a disgrace and they could have come in and they could have talked to us and they could have taken whatever they needed but instead they raided it. Constitutional law professor Jessica Levinson saying the evidence does not support his claims. Everything in this affidavit goes against the idea that the former president in fact did cooperate with law enforcement and if you cooperate you don't need to get this type of search warrant. Earlier this month, Trump claimed he declassified all the documents the FBI found in their search of Mar-a-Lago. Today, President Biden seeming to mock the idea a president can declassify whatever he sees fit. Declassified everything in the world. I'm president. I can do it all. Come on. Declassified everything. All right, so Lauren, why was the affidavit so heavily redacted? Well, Cher, the DOJ did file a court document that explains the redactions, indicating they were, one, to protect the safety and privacy of a number of civilian witnesses, citing concerns about intimidation, retaliation, and harassment. They also cited protecting law enforcement personnel involved and to protect the integrity and secrecy of what is an ongoing criminal investigation. We know from other documents, federal agents are looking into potential violations of three federal laws, including the Espionage Act, in connection with documents that should have been handed over from the White House to the federal government when Trump left office. For now, that's the latest live in the News Center. I'll send it back to you.